I knew y'all. Today we are going to take on the for your tidy up Tuesday. And it was either this or change out my husband's work shirts. And frankly, I just didn't want to be in the house anymore. Y'all, it's beautiful out here. So anyway, this is our lanai. And yes, I know that's not what it really is, but that's what I like to call it. This is where we said of the evenings. And it's on the east side, so the sun's not in your face. And all that stuff. And, uh, it's more strong winter. So I'm going to click y'all off fast forward and we're going to get to get. Well, there you have it, good people. I am finished, and that took no time at all. And I put preen out, swept it in between the rocks, so kind of encourage uh, the seeds not to germinate that are going to be out here and cause me a world of grief. So anyway, is it fancy? Nuh uh Does it meet our needs? Absolutely, it does. I'm not going to put any ferns out here. I'm not going to put anything I have to water because, you know, we split our time between, now that my husband, got a spider on me, between my husband's retired, we split our time between here and the cabin. So that leaves several days that somebody else would have to babysit my plants. And there is a quote that goes like this. Don't like, let your lack of preparation be my emergency. So I don't want to put anything out here that somebody else is going to have to come out and water for me. So since we're outside, y'all want to walk around? Uh, we lost a tree and had it uh, ground up, and I've had to move some hostas. So I've kind of created a new little hosta bed, sort of, kind of. So I'm moving things around. So y'all want to see what we're doing there? Well, while we're on our way to show you what I was going to show you, you know, I get sidetracked. This is a Henry Sweet Spire, and in about a week or so, it will really be showing out. But let me show you. Isn't she pretty? She's the same height as I am. And I tell you what, it is weird whenever I paint her fingernails and her toenails. It is just really kind of odd feeling. So anyway, let's go see what I was going to talk to y'all about. Some of y'all that have been following me for a while will probably remember Sarah's cabin. And Sarah was our little bobtail kitty cat that is no longer with us. But I guess it was two summers ago. We painted it this brown. And I have never liked it. So I don't want to do it this summer. I've got other things going. So probably next summer. I'm gonna paint it back uh, weathered gray. But over here, we had a oak tree that uh, got a disease and there wasn't any way to fix it. Plus, there's a telephone post out there and you got all these wires, so. The tree had to go, which means, this used to be called Dry Creek Holler and I had kind of a, I had a um, old fashioned water pump over here, which we're gonna put back up by that, my grandma's kettle. And it had a kind of a winding stone creek going through it, a play, play like creek. It wasn't, it didn't do anything unless it rained. Beautiful hostas. Well, you know, sunshine hostas, they don't, they don't like each other. So I've got a few more I need to do something with out there. But I'm making these beds, you know. Um, every rose has its thorn. That's not right. Every cloud has a silver lining. There we go. Okay, so now that that big tree's gone, I'm making some garden beds here so this first one right here is full of green onions and then this one over here is going to have herbs and I've got one there and then one at the very back back there and they're kind of a 
I don't know, six by four-ish, give or take. And I think tomatoes are going to go in those. And then I'm going to put two more here and here. And we'll put some squash in one and put some okra in another one. And then I'm going to plant some zinnias around here. So, let me go show you where I'm putting these hostas. Okay, this is in the corner, back corner. And there's a bench there. And so I am moving these hostas up here. And you see I've got some of them moved back early. And they're coming on pretty good. But I've got a couple that the bunny rabbits have just been chewing the whaleys out of. So I think I'm going to get some cayenne pepper and dose those up pretty good. Because there's plenty of stuff for bunny rabbits to eat. And we've got statues that need to be stood up. My bicycle needs a little attention stood up over there and then you can see through there is Sarah's house we have come full circle and let me show you these hydrangeas that are just about to bloom okay, look at these hydrangeas y'all they are just about to bloom and I've got three over here two was from my daddy's service and one was from my grandma's and they've not bloomed in 10, 11 years, and we don't even want to talk about why not. <laughs> I'll all get fighting mad. But anyway, here's some wild irises that were my grandma's and my daddy's mama. So, there we go. Maybe sometime I'll tell y'all about those windows. Okay. So, for those of y'all that hung around to the end, and you want to know about the windows that make me fighting mad every time I think about it, I'm going to think about it, and I'm going to keep my blood pressure down. <laughs> oh, my. But anyway, seven years... No, wait a minute. About... 12, 13 or so years ago. I don't know. I try not to think about it because it makes me mad. I'm going to try not to say that again either. But we had one of these windows. I think it was the second one right here that had gone bad and got milky. And uh, so we hired a guy to come and fix it. Well, in the process of fixing it, he broke every single window. He did. And he they trumped down my hydrangeas and they have not bloomed. I think last year I might have got a couple blooms. And I'll have to ask my Donnie whenever he gets back from the farm how long ago that was that he that guy came and fixed these windows. But anyway, there we go. So don't give up. Keep trying. I tell you, I could have pulled those hydrangeas out, but I had hopes, especially since they came from Daddy and my grandma's services. I really did not want to lose them at all. So alrighty. So I'll see y'all next time and whenever these bloom, I will definitely show y'all. So y'all go do something fun. Bye y'all.